Okay guys, there it is, finished project. Get up under that thing and go to sleep. No, actually, there's a reason that I tied these things to where they was more pliable and movable because if you tie it to where it's just like a two before structure that's nailed together, when you get up there, it is not forgiving. I've got it kind of tied up into its beginning stages and I'm tying, I'll show you right here. I'll be putting four of these, um, two more. There's one here and there's one over there and I'll be putting another one up here. And that'll help kind of pull this together and make it a little more sturdier. I've stretched the canvas tarp that I made over the top of it see if it's gonna fit it does now I'm gonna come back and stake them off cut off the corners and the ends for the side okay. to help sturdy this up when I was in the building process without two people it was a little more difficult but you can drill holes through these I watched a thing on Singapore I think is where it was Indonesia somewhere I'm not sure they actually build a house in about a week that's a three bedroom house out of nothing but bamboo and this is what they use and they are a lot better for earthquakes than the other ones because they have more give to them where i've gotten to it on today now for all practical purposes if I was out, this would not be a shelter that I would make off the fly. This is something that it's more of a tent type style that I would be using for right here in the backyard for Caden and I to be able to get inside of, block some of the sun off of us and things of that nature. In the winter time, the sides would need to be closed up on it. Um, this would give you a temporary shelter type style. I'm gonna be taking that tarp off of it for practical purposes. That tarp right there, I've got about 10 hours worth of work in it. It's one that I made. I don't really want to leave it hanging out here overnight, every night for two or three months, six months or whatever, without waterproofing it better than what it is. Um, it does what I need it to do, but it's more of a I did it type scenario thing. I'm going to be putting a brown tarp over it, which is a 10 by 20, which will fold down to the sides of it. And then I'm going to get another brown tarp, which is a 8x8, eight eight, which will cover the back side of it. I can also do the same thing with another 8x8 eight eight and have it totally enclosed in for the wintertime using the spot that I tied it off. And basically what I did was I run this rope all the way that way, looped it around, went right over to there, it comes up loops into that loop and that loop comes back ties into this comes around and ties off here that helps sturdy this whole thing up All right, take you a string, tie it on this, tie it on that, and go the length of that pole, and then you just roll it up and it'll be up and down. You can use it to open up, let air in. You can close it back down in the winter or in the late evening, in the spring and fall. So we'll be right back. Works better if you got two people, but we're gonna do it with one. And there's the finished product. Alright guys, this is what I decided to go with on the final. Um, I went with the 10 by 14 tarp. Uh, I'm sorry, 10 by 20 tarp. Um, 
it's town it's town i mean she's not going anywhere it'll be good for me just to basically get out here and do the stuff that i want to do and that's basically work on some primitive skills and stuff like that but being out inside the yard um, making little crafts projects things of that nature i did go with the brown facing out instead of the silver in the summertime so that it would reflect more but the brown will be a little bit hotter but i did that because in the afternoons is when i'm going to be doing a good bit of this so i figured the silver would reflect more of the light that i would have inside of it so i kind of went with the silver on the inside since it would be cooler at night to begin with there's the end of this right here it's a two-part series probably i'm not sure if i can edit it into one but if i can i'll make it one um it's nothing fancy it's not one of the primitive shelters or anything of that nature it's more basically of just being able to lash some cane poles together that's basically what i've came up with um i've done a few kind of tension tightening with the grommets and stuff but pulling some ropes in which kind of closes all of that together and kind of keeps it together but with just a little bit of play um hope you enjoyed it maybe it'll inspire you to jump outside in your backyard and build something this style shelter here um one of the things I'm worried about is the puddling of water, but I got a couple of remedies if I see that it's doing that. Right now I've got it to where if it does anything, it will drain down and drain off if it does puddle up. If it has any problems with it, then I'll reconstruct it and redo it, but I plan on leaving this tarp here up. I've had it for three years, I guess. I've not used it for very much of anything because it's so large to really take camping out and backpacking or anything, but that's all of it. Um, You'll start seeing some primitive stuff coming out. You'll start seeing some woodsman stuff coming out of here. You'll see some just some general leather crap that I'll be doing out here. It's just things that you can do in the backyard that you would normally do uh, in the woods if you were just basically out easing it up. So, but I appreciate it and everybody that's watched. I hope you've had an interesting event with this here. and Maybe I'll get a couple of views off of it. And if not, hey, if one, that's all that counts. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching.